not just any unboxing but a chanel unboxing and you know what i just realized i haven't bought a bag well i haven't bought a chanel bag this year until now so this is super exciting a little hint this is a bag that i kind of used to own not exactly but that gives you an idea of what it could be and those of you who know my channel i've spoken about it so many times it's part of my wish list so without further ado let's do the unboxing together i'm super super excited i'm so glad to have this back in my life you could say i'm gonna talk about things that you should look out for what to expect if you're gonna decide to get this bag and whether this bag is still not for you that's totally fine but i could not stop thinking about it i've been mulling about it for a long time to get it back so <laughs> okay to reveal So nicely packaged by my new essay yes i met a new essay finally i have an essay at chanel again to reveal <laughs> ah, <laughs> the chanel 22 bag and i i don't know i feel like some of you might be very <laughs> disappointed that i'm getting this bag um back even though i technically never owned this size which is why we're going to talk about the whole reason why i got it what you can expect or what to look out for the pros and cons that i have noticed because i have actually been secretly using it for the past two months <laughs> um, yes yeah, so i repackaged it but it was already packaged this way uh, by my essay so it's sort of like a um, first impression review after using it for two months before we get into all the details i wanted to thank today's video sponsor which is ideal my favorite diamond fine jewelry company this was the box that was housing all the jewelry that i'm wearing today let me give you a tour of my new pieces today i have a pair of new earrings a new ear cuff and this beautiful new necklace right here so let's start with the necklace this is a solitaire round brilliant cut diamond this is the newest size that they are offering right now which is their biggest size this is a half a carat just to show you how significant this 0.5 carat diamond is against my own wedding ring can really hold its own even against my one carat ring this is my wedding ring which is 1.01 carat which is basically one carat right so um it's a beautiful beautiful piece i highly recommend it if you're just looking for the one necklace this is a classic piece that everybody can style let's move to my ears these earrings are also part of their new collection called the jill earrings i have a feeling that these are gonna be my new favorites i mean i always say that they're my favorites but because their pieces every design that i've gotten so far they all are so beautiful the last time i showed you the power cuff and you guys all loved it so this time i decided to go with a daintier cuff and it goes so so well with the jill and of course if you were to wear it alone is also perfectly fine so this one is the luminate ear cuff wear them a little bit lower or wear them a little bit higher and they're very comfortable if something uh, hits your ear it's not gonna come off you're not gonna lose it and it's so easy to put on and so easy to take off as well which is why they're so lightweight and so comfortable you forget that they're even there which is great for someone like me because i only have one set of piercings in case you don't know already ideals jewelry are all modular by design which means that you can interchange add-on so for this pair of earrings i have the main stud which is this biggest uh, stone right here and then i have also the add-on which is the jill add-on which means that you can build your collection of earrings and necklaces over time and have so many different combinations to wear there are three adjustable lengths always on their chains these are 14 karat gold chains you can pick between three different golds yellow gold rose gold and white gold i always love their white gold because white gold looks 
amazing against my skin tone. It's fine jewelry, so I shower and I go to the pool with them. So they're absolutely great investments. Their diamonds are lab grown, which means that they are able to produce the highest quality diamonds, which is not only sustainable, but also price friendly for the consumer. If any of these pieces interest you, you can browse their website. I'm going to have all the links down below. You can also use my coupon code fashionablyamy10 to save 10% at checkout. And you get these beautiful pouches also that are part of the packaging. If there are any promotions going on because I'm not sure when this video is going out, I'll make sure to let you know in the description box as well. But anyway, I'll just have everything linked down below so you have all the info in the description box. Back to the 22 bag and here we go. Yes, I went with the mini size. I used to own the small size. I'll have all of my 22 bag videos linked down below as well. But long story short is that I used to own the 22 bag in the small size. So the larger sizes, but the smallest of the larger sizes last year when they just came out in the spring summer collection of 2022, hence the name 22 bag. And so um, I got it immediately and I fell in love with how practical the bag is and how chic it is really. But of course I had some problems which I made a whole video about. A lot of you after seeing that video also told me whether you had issues or didn't have issues. So it was very inconsistent. Basically the 22 bag is almost like luck of the draw, whether that particular one that you have from that particular season, from that particular batch of leather, whether you'll have issues at all or not. And the issues could be right where the chains are, it could be on the leather, it could be the corners. Anyway, the 22 bag in the larger size, the size small, was very short-lived in my collection and I missed it so much. I kept mulling at the idea of getting it back. Um, and of course, when they launched the mini size, so the mini size is relatively recent, this size only came out in the spring summer of this year so 2023 spring summer so ever since then i kind of had my eye on this version instead i was thinking that maybe the mini size won't be such an issue because it is a smaller size and luckily so far after two months of use and pretty frequent use not everyday use but pretty frequent use uh, i'm happy to report that this size and this batch is completely fine. Let me just give you a full tour of the bag. I'm sure you've seen many people unboxing the 22 bag already, but the mini size is a little different. People call it bucket, but I really disagree that it's a bucket bag. Although it does have similarities to a bucket because you can technically just throw anything inside. Um, let's just call it the 22 hobo bag, which is what they call it. Um, so it's a little kind of square-ish miniature version of the larger size. Um, with this one, you still have sort of like the two, two sort of like the two chains uh, where the drawstring part is, but you also have these two chains which are attached via the inside of the bag not adjustable it has two d-rings at the back panel of the bag and it's just right there what i've loved doing is i don't really wear it crossbody only only when i want it to be hands-free which is why i do really like this version um usually i just end up kind of grabbing all the chains as if it was part of like the decorations i love chanel chains for that reason i just kind of grab every like all the chains and it just becomes a beautiful mess like this sometimes it does get tangled a lot and i don't really care that it does i just grab it like that and if you don't like these chains well then you shouldn't buy this bag but if you didn't want to have these two chains um leather and chain around for one look then you can just hide it all the way inside and that's fine remember i said that there are these two chains for the bucket drawstring part it's actually just one chain but that's wrapped around comes out from one end and then on the other side it also comes out from the other end so it's really still one chain and that is what makes this bag a little bit more versatile in terms of looks because my essay was showing me that not only can you wear it this way, so just like a little bucket bag and have it as a little bucket, or you can hold it 
with just one chain, the back chain perhaps, and have the front chain dangle like this. This is typically how I wear it along with the straps inside. I kind of just grab it like that. I like that look a lot. But there are actually two more ways that are practical with this bag. One which I've been really doing a lot and loving is kind of just to hold it like that. I don't know what it is. There's something nice about almost like a, how the 19 was pillowy aspect of it that I just like to just grab and just kind of go like that. I don't know why I, I find this bag very comfortable, especially when the bag is a little bit more full. And the last way, which nobody online has shown yet, the daintier shoulder bag. So you have to make this chain the longest by kind of scrunching the front and the back and adjusting the one chain that goes around and around to be slightly longer so that you can wear it as a shoulder bag and let me show you that. So every time you pull on this chain right here in the middle, you're basically pulling the other side of this front chain here. So right in the middle, if you pull, if you pull that, then it's pulling on this side of the front chain. So same with this side. When you pull this, this one in the middle, you're basically pulling from the inside, you're pulling the front part of this. I don't really wear it this way, I just wanted to show it to you. Um, and also so far, I've checked it, no problems with this one. So I'm kind of glad that um, nothing is happening to this one. Seems to be holding out pretty well. And so you've got like a little shoulder bag right here, which is a little bit more of a daintier look. This is a Chanel pearl bracelet. I know it's kind of bougie <laughs> to decorate it with a Chanel bracelet, but why not? Because it's a Chanel bag, right? So it kind of really goes together and I've been wearing it this way. So if you have the same bracelet, which is their classic graduated pearl bracelet with a crystal charm, you can do the same thing. The mini size does not come with the extra pouch, which you will get with the larger size. The lining is a fabric lining, which is a sort of like a cotton fabric lining and that's the pocket that's like the leather pocket uh, and then you get your plaque which is the microchip I really enjoy all the different looks that you can achieve with it but there's way more to that so let me explain now <laughs> why I decided to get it back and what to look out for the 22 bag is not a bag that you want to buy if you're looking at it as an investment please don't <laughs> just buy the classics buy, buy the minis uh, buy those ones as investments but if you're looking for a lifestyle bag right not an investment bag the 22 bag is really great i think everybody that you speak to that owns the 22 bag will agree with you on how much they actually enjoy using it because it's just so easy it's a grab and go it's a grab throw everything inside and go type of bag it was true for the small size it's still true even for the mini size there's the lifestyle and practical aspect plus the aesthetic the different looks uh, the chanel cool girl vibe this bag styles so easily it's so versatile it styles really well with this kind of more formal lady more lady like kind of outfit but it also styles so well in my casual sweats the earlier i bought it the better because chanel like many other luxury brands are known to have several price increases a year especially chanel and lv and the last reason is more kind of related to reason number one and two is that um you know, with Hermes bags, for example, right? I really enjoy my Hermes bags, the craftsmanship, the leather, the structure, everything is great. But those bags have a different aesthetic. They, I don't even know how to describe the aesthetic. It's not serious necessarily. It's just, I don't know. It's a little bit more formal and it's a little bit more simple, but sometimes I just miss the ease of just grabbing something that I know can feel like an everyday bag, but just more elevated. So that's kind of the reasons why I kind of felt like I needed a Chanel bag that was, you know, different and modern and current that, you know, I knew the 22 was still the answer. 
despite all the different seasons, seasonal bags, um, they're all nice and everything, but at the end of the day, the 22 is always the answer for me. The potential issues. I've kind of made my peace with the fact that if I were to have issues with it, hopefully they're not like big issues. As long as the wear and tear is normal, then I, I will accept it because I've accepted this to be a lifestyle handbag which i know sounds bad because it's it's a lot of money to be just like using it as a lifestyle item but you know what some bags are meant to be used and really be like used and others are meant to be more collected even the vibe of this bag is a lot more casual so to me i i will treat this more as a casual as a lifestyle bag uh whereas my more structured bags and the ones that just have more of a serious look, I will treat them more as just bags that I take care of and that I baby. Whereas this one, I will, you know, I'll just use it. But I still use it with care. That's just part of my personality. And if anything does happen, I always have my touch-up pens. In case you guys haven't heard, I got these touch-up pens from Lux Du Jour. And um, it's great for black bags. So if you ever have any scuffing, any problems with your black bags, any black bags, it will work. And at least you'll be able to touch it up. I got it just in case for this bag. So <laughs> it will work with any of my black bags, of course. I wore it when it was raining. I got raindrops on it. Actually raindrops on the 22 bag, or at least on mine. I, I just kind of like make it go away with my hands. Uh, and because it is small, actually, sometimes I would just hide it inside my jacket and it's been working so well, which you can't really do with the larger size. I'm glad that they came up with the mini size this year um, since I really miss, I really miss the 22, but I didn't really want, well, I kind of still want the small size, but I, I will say this, I will probably buy back the 22 small but I will buy it on the pre-love market because the 22 small is even more lifestyle because the wear and tear on the 22 small compared to the mini I feel like is a lot more significant because it's a larger bag you're probably gonna knock around things um, it's also heavier so the wear and tear on the straps on the leather um, is probably gonna be more prominent so I I still want the bag, but I probably wouldn't buy it from the retail store. I'll probably try to find it pre-loved. Um, I'm always on the lookout at Lux Du Jour or Fashion File. Um, uh, Fashion File is in the US, that's the problem. And they, <laughs> it's in USD, which is why the, I haven't taken the plunge yet. Like, you know, the USD is so strong. That's the route that I'm going to take. I'm going to probably end up buying it back one day when I find the perfect one on the consignment that is still in decent condition um, but because the larger sizes tend to actually not really hold their value very well uh, I feel like buying it from the pre-love market on the for this for the larger size makes more sense like you see it does get tangled easily but it's also quite easy to untangle I like both the leather and the the metal chain and I just kind of grab it like this and I you know grab and go it's it's really cool that way and just to show you very very quickly what it fits so phone little coin purse keys six keys um card holder which is my wallet and let's just put some snacks and car keys i mean there's just a ton of room i don't really need to fill it up to show you how versatile this bag really is and i i have been wearing it like this i just like the slouch vibe of it and as you see i like holding it with these chains or this whole like chain mess here because it does take the pressure off of this chain from the sides here a lot more as well and you know once in a while I, i'll still grab the front even though i have my pearl my pearl bracelet there uh, it doesn't bother me that I just grab this whole thing things to look out for do you like this material to begin with in terms of like um, 
the type of structure and the type of like bags that you carry do you like it because unlike lambskin this is lambskin right lambskin also is soft but you know with this lambskin bag for example it has structure so it's different it will always keep puffy like that whereas it's not the same with this this will i don't know it will get creases you can already see some of the creases right here right here right here where the pocket is that's really something that you can't really do anything about would you be okay with that because that's part of the design uh, another thing to consider when you're gonna try this bag is would you even like the mini size considering you have so many chains i mean these chains can drive you nuts if you're not okay with this because this situation here like the fact that you do so do have to untangle it here and there um to me it's fun i i almost feel like this is part of the aesthetic like kind of messy look um but for some people i'm it might drive them crazy um right now it's making a little bit of noise because i put my bracelet there so if you do put a bracelet or any sort of um pearl chains in the front your little <laughs> medallion heel will keep knocking it so that's one thing to also consider um not a big deal because you can always remove it but i like the look i like the aesthetic so i'm going to keep it there are you someone who really worries about wear and tear i think that's the main thing with the chanel 22 if you are really critical maybe the 22 bag really isn't for you as much as i hate to admit the fact that you know it really broke my heart that the 22 bag my first one anyway um, had that type of premature defect, I would call it, um, you know, and a lot of people did as well. It's it sort of, you know, you can't really, you can't really rely on Chanel's warranty or customer service to take care of you because at the end of the day, they might still think that it's wear and tear, even though you know it is not. Like you as a consumer, you hardly even picked it up why is it even wear and tearing like that that's just not normal so it's your words against them at the same time so if you can't stomach that like if you can't stomach any potential issues with it and having to argue your way if you don't really have an understanding essay working with you then it's maybe not a bag for you but other than that everything else is great <laughs> like i said i made my peace with it and that's why i got it Anyway, I hope this video was insightful and I, um, yay, I finally got my 22 bag back. And uh, right now, so far, so good. So far, I'm really happy with the outcome, you know, with the fact that I ended up with the mini instead of the small. That also worked out, even though I still want the small, but like I said, I'll probably get it from the consignment market because the small is not really keeping the value very well. The larger sizes is not keeping the value very well so i'd rather just buy it at a discounted price expect me to wear this a lot and you know style it a lot on my instagram and don't forget to check out ideal like i said their jewelry if you've missed that part their jewelry is just spectacular fantastic uh worth the money definitely you will never have to worry about quality issues with ideal <laughs> they're ideal for you i'll have all my 22 bag videos here in the screen so you can have a refreshed memory if you've enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up share it with your friends who might be interested in the 22 bag the fact that i ended up with the mini size is fate and it's meant to be <laughs> bye guys